up and up. You got him, he's gone. Start the hit. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my. Go right there today, ladies and gentlemen. What are we gonna do? We are gonna be doing a catch clean cook. Only using our bare hands. You are one weird son of a bitch. <laughs> Here, take this, man. We going on the backwaters of Bermuda. <laughs> Jacob got me some sissy girl drink, some mango margarita. Show him the fit today, man. <laughs> hey, but The only thing we are bringing with us today is a cast net. We're not bringing any bait. We're not bringing any lures. We're not. All we're gonna do is bring a cast net, a little bit of ice, and a hand line, and a couple of hooks. Make sure you indicate. All right, we're pulling up to a um, local gas station. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna buy. No secret, so if you wanna try and do this and copy this, you're gonna see exactly what we're buying, exactly what gear we're using. Nothing serious. Oh, the fancy fisherman is pretty good. Now, I'm taught him quite a few things, <laughs> and he's been paying attention. It's paying off for him. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Drinking my beer. Oh, we're gonna get some 15 pound tests. We're gonna go for these little black ones here, size 10. We're gonna go for some silver ones, just in case those aren't working. Alrighty, we got our little bag of supplies. Time to go fishing. Black, oh my gosh. Ladies and gents, we found the jackpot. We got pilchards, we got black fry. Bring the net, Brucey. Nice little easy cast. We're not really here to kill bait today, just try and catch some bait to catch some dinner. And look at that first cast. We got a nice quarter bucket of bait. Now, while Brucey's doing that, I'm going to come over here and set up our line. So we've got a hook already, but I'm going to try and double it up because there's a barracuda. So when you don't have wire, this is a nice little trick for you guys. Double the hook up. And what I mean by that is tie your first hook on and then put the second hook through the loop of the first hook with some force, I managed to get two hooks on. And like I said, it just increases your chances. So the barracuda is not gonna eat the line way up here. It just increases your chances a little bit. Alrighty, so we've just hooked them right in the nose of our double hook rig. We got some gray dogs here. Let me get them riled up with some bait. Oh, there's hundreds of them. Look at all of them. He's so close. There we go, there we go. There he's go. he's got it in his mouth. Don't strike, Don. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he's fighting. We got him on, peeps. Let's go. And we get him up. And we get him up. <laughs> First line over of the day, baby. We got fresh snapper for dinner. Just taking the hook out of him. He's hooked right in the corner. And as you can see, that double hook rig worked for that great all well. Both of them were in him. Usually it doesn't work, but hey, he was hungry. Nice little healthy one and a half pounder. He's gonna taste good later on. Now let's see if Brucey can catch something. It's one zero right now. And oh, we got one. Look, oh, he's, he got he's getting eaten. He's getting, hook him, Brucey. Oh, hook him. Shit. We got oh, one. Fuck me, man. I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna rock Come you, bro. Here, boy. Don't let him. Come here, boy. Let's go. That's another nice one, peeps. I got them all. <laughs> we got him on, Brucey. Up and over. Up and over. Oh, yeah, Up and man. over. Hey, all you people out there, that's how you hold a snapper. Like that. There's gill plates gonna you up. All right, we're going for the berry, but um, we got gray dogs eating off the surface over here, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Got him. Probably throw that in the back. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna be rude. Throw that thing back. Should we throw him back, peeps? Yes. We'll throw him back. All right, ladies and gents, Brucey has saved this gray dog's life. He's a little baby. Give thanks to Brucey. <laughs> he has decided to throw him back. All righty, little fella. We are gonna release him to get bigger one day. My bare hands, boy. Bare hands, we got a cowfish here. Breezy, go, go, Breezy, before he goes uh, down. Take Is he gonna eat this? Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. Breezy, get him. He's gonna get him with his hands. No! no. <laughs> I've done it before. It's dragons. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's poor. <laughs> Yo, that's a nice sign. Come here. No, not to the dock. Fight him, boy. <laughs> He's out, he's out, he's out. <laughs> Being good tonight, baby. She's hooked nice right in the corner. This is our third fish. Same size as the other one, real nice eating size. We're eating good tonight, baby. We are definitely not starving. Peeps, we got some bonitas here. We got some big Almaco jacks rolling up, a whole school of them. Bonitas here, bonitas here. Peeps, look at this. 
Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Look at all of them, they're huge. Bruce, you're gonna have to take your time on them. You're gonna have to take, oh, he's got you, he's got you. He's got you. Take your time on him, take your time on him. <laughs> oh, let him run right. if he needs, let him run if he needs. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, buddy. You were hooked up. Yeah, buddy. On the hand line. Take your time, take your time. Straight on the dock, straight on the dock, straight on the dock. Up and over. <laughs> Let's go. This is, peeps, look at this. This has turned into a full flipping <laughs> slay sash. We got bonitas coming in. We got gray dogs coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going well. We got a bonita in there. Hold on. We got a snapper in there. I'm going to go pick up the others for you. By the way, don't mind this. This is the sketchiest bridge I've ever seen. Bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Peeps, the cowfish came back. Round two. Round two. Come on, Brucey. Come on, Brucey. You got him. He's gone. He's just gone. He's gone. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. You guys saw that first time. Brucey just caught this with his bare hands. This is this is what we call a cowfish. Hold him up, Brucey. Come on, come on. <laughs> we are leaving our first spot. Very eventful. We got one cowfish, one bonita, about three pound, and then we got three, as we call it in Bermuda, great orcs. So we are looking like we're having a feast. The whole family's about to eat good tonight. We're at the second spot. Turn the car off. <laughs> Look at you. Holy oh, shit, this shit is windy. Sorry if it's windy, you guys. I'll try and block the mic for you. Ow. Look how crystal clear the water is, dude. Holy. Hey fam, be careful for them. If you fall over this railing here, this wood thing here, man, then bust your head open on these car reef, fam. Come on. Bro, we got them on. Hey, we got them on. This is it. This is it. This is what we've been It's a real oh, it's a Where Come I got? Here. Come both them, boat flipping, right? Oh, Oh no. Oh no. He's a lost soul. It's just getting better. It's just getting better. Brucey has just caught a bull grunt. Look how pretty it is. This is an eater. We're gonna eat him too. We're, we oh, literally have skinny, skinny. we literally have five, four. What is it? Four. I think this is our fifth species we've caught that we're gonna try out for you and give you a rating on. We're gonna clean them all up for you. And we've come to the clean part of the episode. Make sure you got sharp knives when you're cleaning. Okay, no. Just, just, just don't do that. <laughs> all right. First up, we got the bonita. Bonita, start the hip. Head on, like that. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Share this way. You gonna want a rolling knife, red line, back bend. Just like that. All right. Second step. When you now you have your fillet. You've taken the side off. You have your fillet. Now we take the bones out, and this is how we take the bones out. This is his rib cage here. You're gonna come along the rib cage, all the way down, just like that. Bang, rib cage is out. Now we got one bone left, which is gonna be the center bone, going right up the center of the meat. All you need for this is two little slices. You feel how far it goes back. If the meat is in this case, it goes all the way back. Bang, one slice up. Come on the other side of it, another slice up. Next, bigger knife. Take your knife, run it along the skin, all the way up. You don't wanna go too close. Just press it lightly on the skin. Yeah, but you just have a lot of bloodline. If you go too close, you're gonna get a lot of bloodline, right? So. And you just continue up, just pointing your knife at, at a probably 15 degree angle. And what you get is what you're gonna eat. Hello. Take this little piece of center bone out. Oh, there's all your bone, gone. And what are you left with? A beautiful bonita filet. And there you go, we're gonna repeat the process throughout all these fish, the snappers, the breams. We might leave one snapper hole and do it for you guys um, that way. But yeah, it's as simple as that. And we've got ourselves some dinner. There we go, fresh bonita. Welcome back. You guys just saw us catch some fish only using the cast net and the line that we got. And now we're coming to cook it. So first of all, we're going to season this fish and then take it to my mom's food truck. So real quickly, first we got the bonita here. We're just going to simply put it all in a bowl. We got the snapper, we got the bream, we got the grunt. Everything's here. 
And the recipe I'm gonna be using, I learned from my mom when I was a little bit younger. So crushed garlic, two generous scoops of crushed garlic in there. One and a half scoops of the crushed red pepper. Put some salt in, add a little bit of pepper. Some special seasoning, some chicken seasoning, Maggie. I literally put this on everything. Chicken, steak, fish, whatever you want. A little bit of parsley. We got some fresh parsley from the garden. Give it a little bit of color. And then what we're gonna do is add a little bit of water to this. We're gonna add a little bit of water, not too much. And we're just gonna mix this up. And as you can see, this mixture, it looks really good. Coloration's good on it. It's got a lot of flavor in there from the garlic, the pepper. Now we're gonna move on to seasoning the whole fish. It's gonna be very similar. Most times, before you season it, just put some slits in the side. That way it just cooks through better. So what I'm gonna do here is just about two in, every two inches, I'm just gonna put some deep slits right to the center bone, not through, just to the center bone. And how I like to season my whole fish, we're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. The garlic, crushed red pepper, pepper, our salt. We got the world's best seasoning, a little bit of chicken Maggie. Like I said, for the next step, you just want two seconds of water, bang. With this method, everything's in the bag. All the seasons are in the bag. There's very limit, um, you know, minimal mess. So, for like a two, three minutes, just, you know, rub it all in the crevices and stuff. You want the fish nice and seasoned. You want it to taste real nice. Um, like I said, the food truck's only five minutes up the road. I'm gonna take Smarty and me up there in the, uh, in the van. We're gonna bring you to the food truck. Say hello to everybody. It's my mom's food truck. Obviously, we're gonna cook up some fish and show you that just with the cast net, you can survive in Bermuda with some delicious fish. By the way, don't mind the uh, the tape on the car. One day I had a a real heavy load, and um, I meant to turn left, and I turned right, and uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, we're just pulling up to the food truck here up in Somerset. It's just directly across from Somerset Cricket Club. That's the Bermuda Awards food truck, you know what I'm saying? Got a nice little setup here. So we're gonna go around the back. We're gonna cook the fish up for you guys, see how she tastes. First of all, say hello to all the staff. This is my mom's lovely staff in the truck. What's up, man? We need to be cleanly, so I'm gonna put my gloves on. When you get the seasoned filet, and we are going to place it in the batter. And we are gonna coat all the filet and the seasoning. Shake all the excess. All right, and like I said, we're gonna shake this off. Oh, that looks good, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be nice. And we're gonna place these in the fryer. This side. We're gonna place these in the fryer. We're gonna drop these in nice and slow. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. The whole fish might take a little bit longer, but the filet, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes in there. And we'll check back in when she is almost done. I know we didn't catch these with the cast net. I'm feeling good today. It's a Friday at Cinco de Mayo, so I'm gonna treat myself to some fries on the side, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, pizza, I think this fish is just about ready. Oh, look at that. And we were just gonna let that hang for a bit. We're gonna let some of the oil drain up. It's looking phenomenal. Done. Alrighty, so now we're gonna plate everything up. Oh, this looks delicious. So we got the snapper here. This is gonna be the whole fish platter. This is we're gonna get some bonita in there. A couple of pieces of bonita. Oh, look at that. Just broke apart. That looks delicious. So we're gonna get some bonita over there. We're gonna get some of the grunt in there. We're gonna get some of the bream in there. A little mixture of everything. Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> no, Hello. it's the Lone Star, man. Welcome to, welcome to the Lone Star. Hi, welcome Star. to Lone Star. Seafood uh, truck, fresh seafood. What do you want? Right. What do you no, want? Let me no. Get a, How let me... can I help you today, sir? <laughs> let me get a filet and fries and a whole fish and fries. Filet and fries, whole fish and fries, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming right up. That's your whole fish and fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big portions. <laughs> All right, what are we saying? Peeps, look. We got a little bit of... Oh, it's a little bit windy today. We got some boom boom sauce here that you get from the truck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My thoughts. <laughs> do your review, do your review. And we are gonna dip some fish in the boom boom sauce first. Look at that, oh my. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I'm surviving like this with the cast net in Bermuda, 
I'm living good, baby, because this is immaculate. Let's try and get 50 likes on this video. I think our high so far is like 40 or something like that. 50 likes on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you enjoyed it. My boy, what are you saying? <laughs> Have a great day. Let's go, baby. She just wanna do, man. I'm way too wide and fall. Yeah, I'm dripping so.